What's up guys, King of the Night, Vincent uh, Valentine, EX Turk, and we're here with another Final Fantasy segment, Final Fantasy 15 topic, a discussion video, whatever you want to call it, and this is a question I get frequently asked on my Twitter, and other places too, and I'm going to answer it right on here, now before you call me a Final Fantasy guru, this may be the case, or may not, depending on when the uh, be, uh, depending off the lore changes or not, but from what I know, that there's two royal arm users in the world of Lucius, because King Regis is dead, and that would be Noctis Lucius Kylium and King and Regis Lucius Kylium. And if you've seen, uh, if you played uh, King's Tale, Regis Lucius Kylium doesn't really have a color, but you could concur if. He, if you got to saw King Regis's royal arms in the actual game, it would be blue like Noctis's, meaning it'd be the pure, extended King version of the Lucius Kylian power, or just pure Lucius Kylian power with a pure heart, because only a King of Light can possess the crystal's power, and the crystal is blue, and blue is the color of purity in some esoteric way. So, what's the opposite of blue, you ask? Why is Arden Lucius Kylium's Arbiger Royal Arms red? Crimson, well, I mean, rose or red, whatever you want to call them. Because, first of all, red is the opposite color of blue. And in fiction, red was to represent evil in, like, fictional stuff. You know, hence why people's portraits of the devil is usually, you know red and plus it's the opposite of blue so if blue is the holy and good color then that means red would be the bad color and remember Arden Lucius Kylian was a Lucius Kylian before his turn into the skirt into the star scourge you know before his corruption so he had some he had a few royal arms but also, he's collected royal arms from dead kings and queens he is killed off during his time in Niflheim. Because remember, Arden's 3,000 years old, so he had time to get those royal arms before the events of Final Fantasy XV. Now, if Arden is corrupted by the Star Scourge, that would change the color of his energy too. And from what I know about Final Fantasy XV's lore... The royal arms, the color, is the energy of the users. All Lucius Kylian kings as ascended, as you know, ascended or not, as uh, yeah, ascended or not, the color is usually blue. You know, or is usually blue because it's the color of purity and it's the color of the crystal that they keep trying to protect each and every time. There's only, the only Lucius Kylium to actually known to have a red royal arm armagers aren't. So that would mean that the the pink, the reddish pinkish armager the red I'm gonna just call it reddish because that's what it is. It, it's red. I don't care. Don't argue with me. It's red in my eyes. It's it, it's a texture red. So we're gonna call it red. But the red okay the red the red armager uh, royal arms is about being corrupted and ferocious you know it's ferocious and meant for evil intent as for the blue royal arms is meant to save people because it's the protector protector of the crystal protector of the world the lucius kyliums swear over to protect the last crystal and to keep it from evil that was the promise from eos to the lucius kylium family so, Arden turning into the Star Scourge and turning into this pure evil um, governing, g governor of Niflheim type of person, it changed the color of his royal arms, plus the, blood, plus the blood of every king and queen Arden has killed in the time he's had, though. So, it would change the color from blue to red because red's the opposite of blue, you know. And red can also symbolize the color of blood, which Arden has pretty much has a lot 
Arden has like two full swimming pools of blood on his hands. So I'm pretty sure that's why the the corruption and blood from Lucius other Lucius kind household members made Ar Arden's arbiter reddish. And it's meant to be a fierce a more ferocious color because Arden's intent is to kill. Arden has an evil, corrupted intent. As Noctis' intent is good, is good and wants to be like his father, reunite the world and have eternal peace. Noctis wants peace and prosperity, so Noctis' uh, royal arms, even after the ten years, would be pure and clean. So that's why it's blue. As Arden is the opposite. Arden wants, Ar you know, Arden has a destructive path. That costs other people's lives with alongside his corruption and his jealousy toward his older brother, which caused the Arden's royal arms to be red. So in the case, when I, in short, yes, color does kind of matter. You know, color does matter. Even though Arden does not have the ascended king's powers, considering his obsession with getting the ring, and why he set Noctis up to go ten years into the crystal to get the ring fully powered so he can have it. But with this, now with this, if if Arden were to get the power of the kings and and stuff like that, it's even though he'd be more powerful if he had the ascended king power, it'd still be red considering all the horrible things Arden has done. And because his energy is, and because he's also linked to the Star Scourge. As well, a controller, the Star Scourge, it would st it, the Royal Arms would still remain evil, even if he would have got the um uh, uh, the you know the ascended power, the ascended form like Noctis got, because it's all about Final Fantasy has this huge thing about energy, and energy does make sense. This people who read auras will will tell you about this. Red is usually a bad color. And we know how bad Arden is. We know, we know that you know his Arbiter is never going to turn blue for the actions he has. It's, Noctis is blue because our uh, because Noctis's energy is good, and this is more of a battle of energy as, as well. The Royal Arms is also energy too. It's not just the previous king's weapons. It's astral energy. Because remember, the Lucius Kylium house home is half astral and half human. You know, it was actually Eos who accidentally created the Lucius Kylian bloodline, and she would only bless her powers, uh, bless her powers with the good Lucius Kylians. Anyone who was corrupted. That's how come not every single Lucius Kylian became a knight around, because there's only there, there was only I think it's ten. I, I can't remember, but ten or twelve. I can't remember. From the top of my head, but the, there's only limited members of the night of the night around class because the night around class are the good kings, were the kings who saved the world. And there's been a lot of Lu Lucius Kylian kings and queens. Because remember, if Arden's 3,000 years and he's killed a few of them, I'm pretty sure the Lucius Kylian household has been around for generations. The only ones who got to be transferred into energy and turned into the Knights of Rounds were the ones who actually saved their world from destruction. The only reason why Noctis didn't have to do that is because Noctis saved the entire world automatically, permanently, because Arden was the cause of all the stuff that happened in Final Fantasy XV. And, Ar and Noctis, you know, defeated him, even though at the cost of his life, he saved the entire world of Eos. All the evil has been lifted thanks to Noctis' power. And then plus Noctis, you know, wanted the power to defeat Arden once and for all. That's why he was overpowered in that boss fight. He wanted that power because, you know, it, was the, it would make him strong enough. He got, so he got the Ascended King's power through Bahamut. But it, at a cost of his life, even though he's a Lucius Kylium, at a cost of his life, because even Bahamut knew that Arden could not be vanquished, because, you know, Arden would come back, have a new identity, and come back and do the same thing over and over, unless the Lucius Kylium bloodline were to fall. Now, Arden has made the rules in the ring on hoping that the Lucius Kylian would not be brave enough to take their own lives to stop him, so that's why Arden made that a good idea. You know, 
because he didn't think he didn't think that he was ever going to get defeated. Arden is not Arden is full of himself. He didn't think he was going to get defeated and destroyed like that. He didn't. He didn't expect Bahamut to bless his powers to Noctis and have all that. And that's why you know. That's why he made that rules. But thanks to that rules, in order to get rid, only in order to vanquish Arden once and for all, his vengeance had to be complete in a way that, even if it's not his own way, it's still a vengeance because you had all members of the Lucius Kylian family have to die. But the point, the problem, the point I'm trying to say is, the color does matter, as you see the red. Arbinger royal arms that Arden has is the corrupted star scourge version of the of the Arbinger. You know, as Noctis's blue one and then his stronger Arbinger is because he's the ascended king and he's also a pure Noctis is a pure king of light. You know, he's just like his father Regis, except even further because Noctis saved the entire world. That's why he was able to keep his spirit. Even though his body's gone, he, had, he was able to keep his spirit because Noctis was the only one that didn't have to become a knight around because the world is safe. There's no more evil thanks to Arden being vanquished once and for all. You know, so, you know. But yes, color does matter. Blue meaning that you're a good guy and you're a pure Luci you're Ky Lucius Kylian, first of all, so you can use that power. But second... You also, you've also vanquished the darkness in your heart, and you're ready to become a king of light. Because that's what Noctis had to become. I, I, I have a feeling that the omen dream that Noctis has, I'm pretty sure he has that through his meditation stasis through Bahamut in order to get the darkness out of his heart so he doesn't end up like Arden. Because Arden has failed the test. Even before the scourge, Arden has failed the test. Because the, the astrals could sense his can discontent with Azunia's ascension and not his. So, the, the 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 point is, color does matter. It does matter. Any anyone who uses the red, uh, the red star scourgey form of the Arbiter is connected to the star scourge and are of a king, are a, Lu, a Lucius Kylian king, that's a king of darkness. As for anyone who uses the blue Arbiter weapon. Is the is the king of light, and only a king of light could use the crystal's power, according to Luna Freya. According, according to Luna Freya, only a king of light can use the uh, the the crystal's power. That's why there was that myth about demons being afraid of the crystal. You know, because it's made of pure light energy from Eos. You know, so yes, it does matter. It really do color does matter in this sense. It's energy, and, and like all energy, energy has its own color and meaning behind it. And even in the real world, red is usually bad. It means you have an evil intent, and blue means you have a pure heart intent. You have no evil in your heart when you're doing what you do. That's why people usually get a mix because, well, it depends on how you're feeling. As to sense your aura. So tell me what you think in the comments below. If you if you got the answer to what it means. Or you think it's something else. Please comment. I'd like to see your comments. Even if I don't get to read it right away. I'll still be able to read it. Read a crystal beautiful.